At a time when superpowers were busy playing geopolitical chess, India quietly rewrote the rules of air combat. In a stunning show of indigenous capability, New Delhi has unveiled a game-changing force multiplier that has shaken the very foundations of air dominance in Asia. With one decisive move, India has not only redefined its air-to-air -air warfare potential, but also sent a strong message to its adversaries. This is no longer the India that relied on borrowed brains or foreign triggers. This is a new India, armed, aware, and astonishingly self-reliant. So friends, welcome to YKS Live. Stay with us as we break down this important development. As the United States remained focused on strategic maneuvers, India was quietly crafting a new chapter in aerial warfare, one that caught both China and Pakistan off guard. The previously unrecognized hero of Operation Sindor, whose silent strike had severely weakened Pakistan and sent shockwaves through Islamabad, has now re-emerged in an even more lethal and advanced form. Now mounted on the formidable Sukhoi 30 MKI, this domestically developed aerial weapon compels Chinese J-20s and Pakistani F-16s to reconsider their movements in the sky. The cutting-edge technology that once gave the U.S. its air combat supremacy has now been matched, or possibly outdone by India, and that too at nearly half the cost. This indigenous weapon is known as Astra, India's very own beyond-visual-range air-to-air missile. What makes this version even more powerful is the addition of a completely Indian-made RF or radio frequency seeker, a crucial component often dubbed the missile's brain and eyes. This landmark achievement unfolded on the night of July 11th, off the Chandipur coast in Odisha, at the Integrated Test Range. A fast-moving unmanned aerial target was launched across the sea under cover of darkness. Indian scientists kept a close watch from the ground. As the drone moved swiftly through the air, a command was sent to a Sukhoi, 30 MKI flying overhead. The pilot pressed a button and, in an instant, a blazing trail launched from the fighter jet's wing. The missile, traveling at Mach 4.5, more than four and a half times the speed of sound and faster than the Brahmos, zeroed in on its target. Within seconds, the sky lit up with an explosion as the drone was destroyed. The mission was a success, but more importantly, it was a bold statement of intent. For the first time ever, India successfully tested the Astra missile with a 100% indigenous RF seeker, a feat previously achieved by only a few elite countries. Until now, India had relied on foreign technology for this crucial component, meaning the body of the missile was Indian, but the brain was not. That dependency left India vulnerable to supply blackmail and technology denial. But now, that era is over. DRDO scientists, working tirelessly, have made India fully independent in one of the most advanced domains of air warfare. The indigenous RF seeker ensures Astra's complete autonomy. No foreign power can jam, hack, or block this system anymore. This isn't just a technological upgrade, it's a sovereignty shield. It's the voice of an Atmanurber Bharat, telling the world that India doesn't need to beg, borrow, or depend. Let's not forget Operation Sindor, the secret mission that forced Pakistan's military chief to run to Washington. That operation was India's first showcase of its BVR capability, where missiles hit targets over 100 kilometers away, beyond the range of human sight. The same technology is now more lethal, more precise, and entirely Indian. So, why do Pakistan's F-16s and China's J-20s fear Astra? Here are four major reasons. Lock-on after launch, or LOL. Astra allows pilots to fire the missile without first locking onto the target. It can track and destroy the enemy mid-air using its own seeker, keeping the pilot safe and increasing combat survivability. Advanced Electronic Counter-Counter Measures, or ECCM. Enemy jets often deploy jammers to confuse incoming missiles. But Astra's indigenous RF seeker can outsmart these defenses, maintaining a lock even in high electronic warfare environments. Blazing speed and high altitude reach. Traveling at Mach 4.5 and operating effortlessly at altitudes above 20,000 feet, Astra can strike before the enemy even realizes they're under attack. Cost-effective lethality. 
Equivalent American missiles like the AMROM come with heavy price tags. India has developed Astra at half the cost, enabling the Air Force to deploy more firepower at a fraction of the expense. But the story doesn't end here. India is already preparing Astra Mk2 with an extended range of 160 kilometers, allowing Indian jets to strike enemy aircraft deep inside hostile airspace while staying within national borders. And then comes the Astra Mk3, powered by solid fuel duct ramjet SFDR technology with a staggering projected range of over 350 kilometers. This version would give India the ability to neutralize threats far into enemy territory, making it the undisputed aerial superpower of the region. In August 2025, the Astra Mk-1 will undergo its first live firing from a Tejas Mk-1A fighter jet, combining Tejas's agility with Astra's deadly reach, a combination the world will be watching closely. This is not just about a missile, it's about vision, resilience, and national pride. Over 50 Indian companies, including DRDO, HAL, and private sector partners, have collaborated to make this dream a reality. The July 11th test is a symbol of how far India has come and how high it intends to soar. So, the next time you see a Sukhoi or Tejas streaking across the sky, remember, it's not just carrying a missile, but India's pride, India's power, and a message to every adversary. The sky is not the limit, it's our domain. This is Astra, India's celestial destroyer, now with an Indian brain. Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to write Jai Hind to support the nation. If you liked this video, then hit the thumbs up button and also share with others. If you are new to our channel, then please hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you do not miss our news updates. Take care and thanks for watching.